Welcome to NCUA Credit Union Online, or CU Online, an online resource that allows credit unions to submit call reports and profile data on a quarterly basis. As you may know, credit unions that do not successfully submit their call reports before submission deadlines may be assessed a civil money penalty. Although only a small percentage of credit unions miss the deadline, it's important to avoid being assessed a civil money penalty by familiarizing yourself with the call report submission process. The purpose of this video is to review the electronic filing process for CU Online users responsible for call report submissions. If, after watching this video, you still need additional information or help, the NCUA technical support is available 7 a.m. through 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Monday through Thursday, excluding holidays, and 7 a.m. through 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Friday, excluding holidays, at 1-800-827-3255 or csdesk at ncua.gov. CU Online users can always see Call Report status in the Status column of the Call Report Filing Information screen. Pending indicates that the call report for that period has not yet been successfully submitted and is still considered outstanding. Processing indicates that the call report has been submitted and is being processed by CU Online. Also, your submission date and time are marked when your submission is sent not when the processing stage ends. You may need to re-enter CU online to view the most up-to-date status of the call report. The only way to initiate a call report submission is to click the Submit button on the Info page, also known as the Call Report Detail screen. As a reminder, saving your call report does not initiate a call report submission. The submission deadline standard is successful submission, not merely clicking the Submit button button. After you click Submit, confirm the information presented on the Submit Call Report screen and provide the call report certifier name. A call report has been successfully submitted when the status changes from Processing to Submitted. If you do not see the status change after successful submission, log out of CU Online and log back in to completely refresh the status. After successful submission, NCUA will email the Financial Performance Report to the credit union point of contact as identified in your profile. As a reminder, saving either an electronic or hard copy of the submitted call report document with the submission date and timestamp is required by Part 749 of the NCUA Rules and Regulations. This applies to all federally insured credit unions. Let's discuss typical causes of unsuccessful submission attempts. The most common reason for unsuccessful submissions is unresolved errors or warnings. You must resolve all errors before submission. However, you may submit call reports with warnings if you add a meaningful justification comment for each warning. Submission will also fail if there are two or more users attempting to save or submit the call report concurrently. In this case, you will receive a pop-up notification detailing the issue. Please open the call report again to obtain the last version and resubmit. Finally, if your credit union profile is not certified, you will be unable to submit the call report. For every cycle, please provide the profile data needed to certify your credit union profile. If you attempt to submit without proper certification, you will receive an error notification. On rare occasions, our servers or your connectivity to NCUA does not operate as it should. In these cases, you might receive one of several pop-up notifications on your screen. These notifications will detail the error and prompt you to reload the call report. Starting with the June 2014 call report cycle, NCUA introduced an email reminder service. This was added to help credit unions meet the submission deadline and avoid a civil money penalty. As you know, there are three weeks per cycle to submit call reports before the submission deadline. With the new email reminder service, there are several indications that the submission deadline is about to pass or has passed. Shortly before the deadline, if a call report has not been submitted, select credit union personnel will receive a call report submission email reminder. NCUA will send this reminder to 1. 
the previous call report certifier, two, the call report point of contact, three, the credit union CEO, and four, the credit union chairperson. Here is a sample of the late upload warning email reminder. If NCUA has not received a call report by the deadline, select credit union personnel will receive a call report submission email reminder. NCUA will send this reminder to 1. The previous CU online call report certifier. 2. The call report point of contact. 3. The credit union CEO. 4. The credit union chairperson. 5. The NCUA examiner. 6. The region admin. And 7 the state regulatory agency, if applicable. Here is a sample of this call report submission email reminder. Even if you have missed the submission deadline, it's important to submit your call report as soon as possible. Penalties depend, in part, on the number of days a submission is late. On behalf of the NCUA team, we hope that this short video provided you with the information necessary to facilitate your successful call report submission. If you encounter problems with submitting your call report and profile data, you may obtain additional assistance by contacting NCUA Technical Support at 1-800-827-3255 or csdesk at ncua.gov between the hours of 7 a.m. through 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Monday through Thursday, excluding holidays, and 7 a.m. through 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Friday, excluding holidays. A recommended best practice is to submit call reports within NCUA technical support hours. So, if needed, you can receive assistance from the NCUA Help Desk.